May the 1st, Topeka, Indiana. The girls and I say hello. Yes, it's warm. I know. The other thing is they're excited because before I got here, I stopped and I got us some food at the convenience store right across the street. So they're eager for their food. But before we do that, let me tell you what I've got going on. Alrighty, folks. I got a call from my traffic manager yesterday. I really need your help. I see that you're in the area. I said, yeah, what do you got going on? I mean, because yesterday I was um, at Dan's service center in Elkhart, Indiana, and uh, Sea Farmer was trying to help me figure out what was going on with my truck. She says, I've got two loads, one going to Utah, one going to California. One of them's in a portion plate load. I said, yeah, I saw that on the load board. And I said, uh, let me make a call because I've already committed to another load and I don't know if it's ready yet and I've committed to them first and I said I don't I can't commit to this until I know for sure let me make a phone call and I'll call you back I called her back and I said yeah I can take the load oh thank you so much I said I want a raise I didn't get the raise anyway I am hooked to, it took me a minute to find the information on the paperwork. I'm like, why isn't it there? I was looking in the wrong spot. I don't know about me sometimes. I am hooked to a 44 foot fifth wheel. Shipping weight, 19, 116 GVWR 21,000. It is in a portion plate unit. It's a Riverstone. It's picking up Topeka, Indiana, and it is on its way to Santa Clarita, California. It's a service unit, no keys, no paperwork. And I mean literally, they didn't even hide the keys where they normally hide them. I'm like, I have no idea where the keys are. This um, place that I'm delivering it to, I think, there's a place down in Georgia where they do the, uh, the campers for movie production. I've got one of those campers, but it's going to Santa Clarita. And I got to use some special equipment that I bought and uh, I think this will be the first time I'm using it. So let me show you, let me walk you around the outside and show you what we got going on. Let me show you the equipment I had to use. So let's do this. This is that adapter piece that I need to plug my light cord in because this fitting right here normally plugs into the back of a semi. And so this is my little adapter so that I can plug it into my little old truck.
The girls and I stopped at Lake Station, Indiana, at the Flying J to Fuel. And I'm at the back part of the parking lot where they've got like some kind of sort of grassy area that I let the girls get out. That way they don't have to be on their leash. It's not like a 30 minute break, but it is a potty break. And the truck stop, or, or the actual fuel island where I fueled, is to my right. And it's also to the right of that sign that you see there. So if I had to guess, I would say the fuel island was right over there. What thinks she? Hot mama? You ready to get back in the truck? We have a long way to go. Troy, Illinois. I have returned to the scene of the crime. But that's not why I wanted to talk to you. I had to go in to the truck stop so I could get some cheese to hide Squirt's pill in. And there's a couple three drivers and they're talking trash about some fight coming up with Tyson and I, I don't know. He said Tyson and what's his name so he doesn't even know. And they're kind of getting rowdy and kind of like using bad language. So when there was a break in the conversation I said out loud like in my almost outdoor voice and with a big smile on my face I go so how about that weather we're having that's my way of changing the subject are you girls ready we still have two hours of drive time left on our logbook shall we yes I got squirts pill and we're ready to pop some pills and hit the road I found a nice place in the corner of the parking lot so that they can walk off leash. I like for them to be able to do that. It's a beautiful evening. Let me see if I can nab us a sunset-ish. Well, all those poles and lines in the way, but it is sunsetting-ish. All right, girls, finish checking your P-mail and let's go. So that experience where the other episode ago I shared where I damaged that unit, <clears throat> that was a very humbling experience. And for all of our professionalism, we still have accidents and things still happen. And it made me mad. And it humbled me. So I'm not as good as I thought I was. It can happen to anybody. So hopefully, I'll be good for another three years before I damage your unit, eh? What? Well, yes, we're gonna put, hold on, oh my goodness. We're going to put Squirt's pill. We're hiding it in the cheese. And then I kind of shape it like this to where she doesn't spend a lot of time chewing. And we'll just scarf it right down. And then, of course, Chloe's getting her pill. Okay. All right. All right, looky there. Right on time. The alarm for your pill just went off. Okay. All right, let me shut the alarm off. And yeah, we're we've got we've got um, two hours and thirty four minutes of driving. So I'm gonna drive for about two more hours, and then I'll start looking for a place to pull over. So let's hit the open road. Look at those two sitting there waiting on me. Where's Chloe? Where's Chloe? There she is. Okay, three of them. 
stop somewhere at a convenience store somewhere in Oklahoma. Maybe Maltz Burger. I, I don't know. That's what that's the name on the propane tank over there. All I can say is they are lacking in bathroom maintenance, cleanliness, and upgrade and upkeep. Oh, I forgot. What's the date today? I need to look and see what the date is today. The the second. Oh, stop. It's only 80 degrees. It's not that hot. Are you melting? I'm melting. I'm melting, Mom. I'm melting. We're taking our 30. We need to take a 30. Yeah, she's not digging that. You want me to put you back outside? No? Okay. I'm just asking. Whew. I think it's a beautiful day today, though. I've had dark cloud cover all day. It's been freaking most people out, though. They're like, oh, I gotta beat the storm. I'm like, what storm? There's probably a storm out there somewhere. I don't know where it would be, though. Can you tell? Beautiful. I say it's beautiful. Alrighty guys, I'm in Sayre, Oklahoma, but last night I stopped in Elk City, Oklahoma, so that I could have 5A repair, put my truck on the diagnostic about the uh, check engine light, and he had a quite expensive diagnostic tool. Yeah, he said something like $16,000. I'm like, oh my goodness. I mean, on a side note, if anybody's wondering why shop shops charge so much, they've got expensive equipment they have to pay for. But he looked up the codes and did some extra diagnosing. And um, the diagnostic suggestions are such that I need to come back and they're going to have to kind of like look into the wiring and test certain things and so I told him I'd be back after I get this load delivered to um, Santa Clarita. I stopped at the Flying J to potty. I'm sorry. I stopped at the Flying J to fuel and then I pulled over to the side of the parking lot so the girls could potty. And they're having none of this sand. Squirt's, I think, afraid she's going to get stickers in her feet. She's such a city slicker. Well, who likes stickers in their feet anyway? So, anywho, still working on trying to get my truck fixed. Um, sea Farmer was nervous about having me buy a part because... It was expensive, and I thought, you know, if I if I stop at 5A Repair and have them diagnose it, they probably... I was counting on the fact that they'd have a, a diagnostic tool to where they could really, really get into why the truck is doing what it's doing and then get the appropriate parts. Because uh, who wants to do part swapping? That can get expensive. All right, girls. But anyway, that's what I got going on this morning. We're going to hit the open road. If I can get the girls to get back in the truck. Update from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Let me check the date. Okay, today is May the 4th. And I had to do something a little different. It might end up being a habit. Yesterday, while I was traveling... I ended up stopping after five hours of driving because it was getting on the heat of the day. What? He's just wanting money. He's just wanting money. He already asked me if he could clean my windshield for some spare change, and I'm like, no. No. Okay, you done? Okay, so the truck was running warmer than I would like. 
I'm not saying it was overheating. It's just the heat of the day and I'm climbing up hills and the truck's getting hot. And there's been something that's been going on with my air conditioning ever since the blend door ever since I had the blend door fixed, it's like when I have my air conditioning on, it works, the air conditioner works, but the fan, like all the way on its highest setting, it's like you can barely feel the fan, and it just got too hot inside the cab of the truck, the girls were miserable, and I'm like, okay, so I looked for a place that I could pull over, and I parked in the shade of a tree, and we kind of slept and then I got up at two o'clock this morning and was rolling by three ish and I'm just going to drive nights during the hot down down in the hot hold on what am I trying to say I want to drive nights during the heat in the southern states that's what I want to say because I just I, I, I know that I think I think that the fan on my truck could be stronger. I just don't have the money and I don't want to take the time to have somebody, I don't know, probably tear my dash apart and look at it. And I'm like, fine, I'll just drive at night. So this is us driving at night. I stopped in Albuquerque, took on some fuel, got some scrunchy munchies, and we are heading back on down the road west. That's the update for now. May the 4th, or it could be the 5th because technically it's after midnight my time, but it's still 9.34 local time in Lake Havasu, Arizona, and as I mentioned earlier, the truck, my truck fan is not exactly category 5 wind like it used to be. And my body has this tendency to feel like it's going to spontaneously combust from the inside out. I bought a fan. Kind of a, you know, a fan. I guess I can look touristy. But I paid less than 20 bucks for it. But I know it'll help. It has a little USB tra What? I'm showing everybody my fan. She says, I don't care about the fan. How about that burger that's on that dash? That burger that's on that dash right there, mama. Anywho, I thought I'd give this a try and see if this helps out some. I'm, I'm, I'm pitiful. <laughs> oh, for I forgot to mention, because I've been driving nights, just to try to keep a lot of the sun from beaming in on me during the day when I'm driving. It's going good. I'm adjusting a little bit to the schedule now. Took some advice from another driver who said, look, you're in Flagstaff, the elevation is high, you're tired, get some sleep. I did. And, but now we're underway. I'm trying to get 30 minute break in, that way I can drive non-stop from here all the way to the customer and not have to try to find... Okay. Not that it's difficult to find a place to park in California. It's like almost everywhere you pull over, there's a place to park. Uh, but I just want to nonstop get there toward the customer. And so hopefully the next time I check in with you, it'll be when I've made it to destination. But burger first. Today is my cheat day. I'm having donuts and coffee. I am parked on the back row at the pilot truck stop in a town that I will tell you about the name in a minute. But I know I said I was going to make it to the customer last night. I am an hour away from the customer, but I passed this pilot truck stop last night and I thought, you know what, this will be a good place to park. Nobody's going to run me off. There's food. And there's entertainment. There's some kind of a... I'm not going to go and do it because I don't want to leave the girls. 
But there is a swap meet going on. You see all them trees over there? There's a swap meet going on over there. This place is just full of activity. But we're just parked here chilling so I can deliver. Did I already say I'm an hour from the customer? I don't know if I said that or not. But I'm an hour from the customer. Chloe knows there is chicken in there. Oh, and the reason that I say that I'm, uh, this is my cheat day, I have gone over a month without drinking coffee. It's a kind of a cleansing thing that I've been doing. I've been using um, Ar Arbonne products and kind of cleansing. And one of the things they discourage is coffee because of the caffeine and the acidity. And I don't know, there was some other, I, I really don't know much about the program other than their products taste pretty good except for the protein shake I, I told my representative I said yeah that tastes like chocolate cardboard <laughs> so, but everything else I like the teas the detox the cleansers all that I like but that protein powder chocolate cardboard y'all that's what it tastes like to me she goes really you're the first person that said that so shall we splurge she says, shut up, Mom, and let's start splurging. <coughs> and according to the receipt, I am in Palmdale, California. Don't let the sunshine fool you. It's cold out there. It's cold and the wind is blowing. It's um, 57 degrees. And, well, we're not needing to run the heat or, or anything like during the day, but... When you step outside the truck in that breeze, it's cold. Right. Right. I'm on it. Yes, my demandy Andy. What's this on your face? You got something on your face. Looks like eye boogers and snots and hair. And she says, shut up and give me my pill. All right. We'll do it. Now, here's something you don't see very often. There's a guy sitting in that car right there. This poor guy has been trying to back into this spot for a while now. I feel bad for him. He's trying though, but he gets real close to that semi. I also learned that if you're going to eat sweets to keep your blood sugar from spiking, pair it with protein. Will that count? Two thousand years later. May the 6th. I'm kind of glad I didn't try to come in and find the customer uh, that, that night that I was thinking I'm all bad as can be. It's inside a gated community, and, and there's a security guard, and I'm not sure I could have gotten in anyway. I'm giving you this update because I'm lost. I'm inside the little area, and I'm lost. Uh, the address on my bill of lading did take me to the business, but that's just their office. But the actual lot where they want this stored, I don't know where it's at, and I've already had to back down the road because I took a turn and ended up in a, in a dead end road. So I'm like, yeah, let me call somebody before this gets worse. So the guy in Atlanta called the guy here in Santa Clarita and they're sending a lady, which she's on her way now to see her walking there. She's on her way to guide me to the correct area because like I told the guy, I'm like, yeah, I've already had to back up once and before I get into a mess, I need a, I need a, uh, a guide. So she's on her way. So yay to that, but beautiful area. It's so beautiful here. According to very nice personage lady, I need to go back out the entrance that I came in and then ask the guard to open up the other gate because the road I need is actually that one right there and that goes straight up to their lot. But that's how much I know. Hey, I'm not from here. So I am headed back out. Uh, don't mind the banana on the dash. Speed bump. Oh, but beautiful little area. It's like its own little community. They've got parks and 
tennis courts and basketball courts. Oh, that's a basketball court. That's not a tennis court, but very lovely. What do you think, Squirt? Is it lovely? Chloe, any opinion? All right. You guys are a lot of help. Chloe's a distraction sometimes. She gets excited and she's barking. I'm stressing out. I'm trying to back up. And she she doesn't help things. Okay, there's the gate. They've opened it up. So I just need the other driveway. I don't know how to find the other driveway. But I'm going to stop and talk to the guard and let him know I need the other driveway. All right, very nice, kind, friendly guard is aware of what's going on. So, another speed bump. Oh my goodness, this unit has got the grabbiest brakes. And every time I slam my, my brakes, it feels like I've been rear-ended. Okay, there we go. Gate is open, and I'm supposed to go all the way up the hill, and I'm looking for lot D. So, here we go, people. You know what, I don't know what road I'm supposed to be on, but I feel I'm going to scooch over. Okay. So, apparently, the offices are right inside this building here, which my mapping program did take me to the right address but just not to the right lot. Climb, girl, climb. Oh my goodness, look at these trees. Yeah, I'm sightseeing while I'm here. There's lot A. All right, so we're on our way. Oh, we're getting close. I see some white trailers over there. Getting close. See, I saw all of this from the satellite view of the mapping program, and this lot here looked like a good place from the mapping program that I could have stayed at, but it's all locked up. Okay, lot C. Oh yeah, we're getting into their stuff. I recognize their equipment. Come on, girl, climb this hill. Oh, look at those river stones over there. Yep, just like the one I'm pulling in. We're going to swing this like a 53-foot trailer. We made it, guys. Thank you. All right. There's somebody standing there, so I'm going to head his way. Because he looks like he may know what he wants me to do. They are signing the paperwork on my unit now. Really nice people. This is the business side of everything. The behind the scenes, right? Like, this is what's included in the making of a movie. Like behind the scenes. And I asked him, I said, so is Dwayne The Rock Johnson here or Robert Downey Jr.? They just laughed. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing no.
What? What? I told you, Mama's working. When, when we're done working, then we'll do, you know, boots on the ground thing. Paws on the ground. Alrighty, folks. Successful delivery. We are done here in California, and I have plotted my course back to Elk City, Oklahoma, because um, 5A Repair wants to do a little bit of diagnostic stuff on my truck as far as my def heater. So I didn't see anything on the load board, and I'm already committed to another l load that I have to be in uh, uh, Kentucky to pick up on the... 13th I think so I got a boogie but this load is worth is worth boogieing for it's worth deadheading for so that's what I'm going to do we're almost out of the gate nice speed bumps so I guess I'm going to end this episode let me, let me drive real slow past the garden shack so I don't freak anybody out bye he's such a nice person big beautiful smile okay alright Santa Clarita. Done. Thank you guys for watching. Coming along on the journey and the speed bumps with me. We'll catch you on the next episode. And just remember guys, when you're lost, it's all about the perspective. All roads lead somewhere. <laughs>